Monday, but let's have some more birthday messages now. Noddy, could you please say a big happy birthday to Imogen? Happy who is birthday! Today. Happy birthday to you, Imogen. Have a lovely day. Nice hat, by the way. Also, say a big happy birthday to Aidan McManon, who is also one today. Hooray! <laughs> and could you please say hello to Sky and Kenzie Perry as they smile constantly at Milkshake. Hello, Milkshakers! Hello there. Do stay right there, because those cheeky bananas are next. <laughs> At the Entertainer Toy Shops, rise up against the dark side with Star Wars Super Saturdays. Stop the Stormtroopers, take on the Empire, and launch into action. Buy any of these toys to grab your free Star Wars figure. And collect two weekly stamps from our in-store events, and your little rebel can claim a free Star Wars Micro Machine. There's even the chance to win one of three epic prize bundles worth £250 every week. Star Wars Super Saturdays, only at the Entertainer Toy Shops. The new Beat Bow Learning Lights Dance Mat. It's the interactive way to get your little mover and shaker going. It's motion activated, so it knows where baby is playing. Plus all the dazzling lights, games and tunes really keep the fun moving. The Beat Bow Learning Lights Dance Mat. The dance machine for your dance machine. Only from Fisher Price. Welcome back to Milkshake with myself and Noddy. And Noddy, we've got a birthday card here for a Lincoln Woof Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln Woof Woof is one today. There you go. Happy Yippee! birthday. Lots and lots of love from your mummy and your daddy. It's time for the bananas to fix something now. <laughs> Milkshake, brought to you by Imaginext. Bananas in pyjamas are coming down the stairs Bananas in pyjamas are coming down in pairs Bananas in pyjamas are chasing teddy bears Cause on Tuesday's night we'll try to catch them on the wares One more piece, B2 One more it is, B1 Another great fix-it job, B2. Just one of many great fix-it jobs, B1. Hmm, I have just one small question, B2. What's that, B1? Do you think we use too much black tape to fix things? I hadn't thought of that. Maybe we should take a look. I think you're right, B1. There's black tape everywhere. But how can we fix things if we don't use black tape? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We have to learn about fixing things properly. And there's one person who can tell us all we need to know. It's Let's, Let's Visit, Visit Charlie, Charlie time! After you, B1. After you, B2. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. After you again, B2. Oh, uh, thanks, B1. <laughs> you want me to teach you bananas? You're the best fixer we know, Charlie. You can teach us all about how to fix things properly. Without having to use lots of black tape all the time. I'd love to teach you about repairing things, bananas. jama -rama. We knew you'd help us. And there's no better time for your first lesson than right now. banana -rific. Let's start with the basic tools you need for repairing things. The screwdriver, the spanner and the hammer. Pajama-tastic! Now let's get fixing. Thank, Thank you, Charlie. Charlie. Uh, but, uh, uh, but bananas? Bye, Charlie. Uh, bananas? Wait! Oh, dear. Now, where did I put that phone? Now that we have the right tools, we can fix anything. And we can fix things for our friends, too. I know. Why don't we visit the teddies? Yes. 
They must need something fixed. And we can do it for them. Do you see that, B1? I see it, B2. Amy! Hello, Bananas. This is your lucky day, Amy. Is it? We'll have that fixed in no time. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Oh, um, what are you fixing? This wobbly wheel, of course. It will wobble no more. But that wheel's always wobbled. It's no problem. And it never will be a problem. Not after we fix it. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Bananas? You bet. These are Charlie's special tools. We've just been to his place for a lesson. There you go, Amy. Try it out. Oh, uh, OK. Hey, it doesn't wobble. Another great fix-it job. By the Fix-It Bananas. Thanks, Bananas. Our ah, pleasure, pleasure, Amy. Amy. Let's find more things to fix, B1. Right with you, B2. Morgan's always got stuff that's broken. But it won't be broken for much longer. Morgan! Gosh, the bananas really did fix this wheel. Ah, uh, well, I think they did. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, bananas! Hello, Morgan. Hi, bananas. Do you have something that needs fixing? Anything at all? Uh, no, I think everything's OK, thanks. There has to be something. Aha! This shelf. That shelf? It's not very strong. But we can make it strong. You can? How? By doing this. And doing this. Now for a test. A comic book test. A double comic book test. A triple comic book test. Wow, that's brilliant. That is a lot stronger. It's just another fix-it job by, by the, the Fix-It bananas. bananas. We'll see you later, Morgan. We've got more fixing to do. See you and thank you. We've helped Morgan and Amy. Now let's find Lulu and help her. I love fixing B2. It's such a great way to make our friends happy, B1. What a great job. The bananas really are great fixes. Huh? Whoa! Oh! Oh. oh, bananas. La, 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 la. Let us do that, Lulu, because that's a fixing job. What do you mean, bananas? Hmm, this stand is all shaky. You don't want to paint on a shaky stand. But, bananas, it's shaky because you're shaking it. It won't be shaky after we've fixed it. Because we're the fix-it bananas. Are you sure this will work, bananas? Nothing could be easier, Lulu. Just leave it to us. There you go. See? No more shakes. Oh, that does seem better. All in a day's fixing for the Fix-It Bananas. Thank you so much, Bananas. Where did I put that phone? Aha! I knew you were in here somewhere. Hello? Morgan, how are you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear! <laughs> All right, I'll be over straight away. <laughs> now that we've helped our friends, B2, it's time to do some fixing for ourselves, B1. La, 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 la. Lulu, stop! Did the bananas fix anything for you? Oh, yes, and they did a great job. No, they didn't. What? Anything the bananas fix 
doesn't stay fixed. It just gets worse. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen, and it's my fault. The bananas said that you gave them a lesson in fixing things, Charlie. I did, but I didn't. They were so excited about our first lesson, they didn't stay for the lesson. But they did a good job on my easel. They fixed your easel. Stand back, everyone! All done, B1. Fixed to perfection. Everything's like new again. And we fixed it without any big black tape. There's only one thing we need to do now. Find a use for all this black tape. Hmm. Bananas! That's the teddies. Maybe they have more things for us to fix. Great! Bananas! That's Charlie. He must want to see what his best fixing students are doing. Then let's let them in. Bananas! Stop your work! No more fixing! There is no more fixing. Because we've fixed everything. Everything? Everything that needed fixing... Is fixed! Bananas, be very quiet. And slowly walk to the door. Don't make any sudden movements. Is this a game? A fun game? No questions, Bananas. Just leave the house quickly. But why? Bananas. Nothing you fix stays fixed. But we use Charlie's special tools. Why did things go wrong? Because learning to fix things properly takes lots of time and training. It does? It does. And we didn't spend enough time. You didn't. Or learn enough lessons. Correct. We're, We're sorry. sorry. It's OK, Bananas. Everything can be fixed. And we'll help fix it. And while we do it, I'll give you lots of lessons about how to fix things properly. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. And you too, Teddies. Then, then we'll, we'll really be, be the Fix-It bananas. bananas. I suggest that we all start bright and early tomorrow morning. But before we do that... You're all invited to afternoon tea in our back garden. It's our special way of saying thank you. See, See you all in one, one hour. hour. Wow, Bananas! This looks terrific! Splendid indeed! What delicious food! Thanks, everyone! Come and eat! Thanks, Bananas! Is this table strong enough for all this food? It should be! We fixed it only last week! You what?! Ah, that was close! We could have had the worst accident ever, but we saved everything. <laughs> Oops. Now we remember. We fixed those chairs too. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Milkshake, brought to you by Imaginext. It's Alistair's birthday. He is two today. Happy birthday. <laughs> Nod, you've been great company all week. Thank you very much. I hope you're going to come back soon. <laughs> I'd love to. Right, Milkshakers, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye, everyone. And goodbye from him. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> The 
adventure continues with Peppa, Ben and Tolly and all your favourite friends over on Nick Jr, where every day is an adventure. This Saturday on Football on 5, some old rivals go head to head. What a goal from Chris Wood! And while Derby face leads in the East Midlands, in the West, Aston Villa entertain Wolves. Join us for that and all the goals from across the EFL, Saturday from 9pm. Come with us as we search for the breathtaking bridges... Feels like you're on top of the world up here. It's just stunning. ...that make Britain great. It's not fast, it's majestic. Fantastic, isn't it? Explore the incredible structures... That was absolutely brilliant. ...that connect us. Britain's Greatest Bridges starts tonight at 9 on Channel 5. It's Friday, which means we're talking telly with Kevin O'Sullivan today as we cross over to the studio for the right stuff. This morning, is Boris Johnson right to consider putting British troops on the ground in Syria? Could our presence there stop the slaughter? Plus, is wearing makeup empowering for women or anything but? We're going to talk telly with Kevin O'Sullivan and ask if a songwriter like Bob Dylan deserves the Nobel Prize for Literature. That's the right song. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to our last show of the week with me, Matthew Wright. It's Friday the 14th of October, a beautiful day outside. And it's, uh, it's just as well, we're marking the 950th anniversary of the Battle of Hastings, 1066 and all that. King Harold famously getting one in the eye from the Norman conquerors. Uh, hundreds, in fact, thousands of reenactment bods are currently gathering in East Sussex to commemorate the French takeover of Britain by restaging the battle uh, this weekend. 16,000 spectators expected to watch. Good luck to all of them, I have to say. Of course, those of you that voted Brexit will probably be throwing stones at our troops. Anyway, moving on, it's our National Egg Week. It's drawing to a close and we've been scrambling around for a way of celebrating it. I think, I think we have come up with the answer, as you and the panel shall find out in just a moment. But first, let's meet them. Cracking us up all week with her yolks, it's comic Zoe Lyons. Good morning <laughs> to you. <laughs> So, oh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Plug time first. Where are you off to next, gigging? Gigging-wise, I'm on tour at the moment. Uh, and uh, my The tour is called? My tour is called Zoe Lyons Little Misfit. So, the Edinburgh the show. So the Edinburgh show. I'm taking the Edinburgh show around the country. Uh, I'm in Bromsgrove on the 27th, I think it is. Yes, it's all on, it's all on the website. So, a fairly <laughs> quiet weekend ahead, then? No, I'm, I'm, I'm gigging in Birmingham tonight and then Guildford tomorrow. It never stops, Matthew, it never stops. How many shows yeah. a year do you know? Sorry? You, do you, how many shows a year do you do? I don't know. I'm probably about 200-plus gigs, I would say. Yeah, it... I mean, when I first started, I was out every day of the week, gigging, 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 and you get to an age where you can't do that. <laughs> well, you do, you get, I get a little tired these days. So. I mean, you get sick of motorway service stations oh, and railway I know them stations, all by it? heart. Yeah. I, know, I'm not, I'm, I know them all, but I'm not, not stopping there. There's a waitress <laughs> at the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I know them all by heart, yeah. In the middle once again, uh, he's a bit of all white, carrying out the uh, egg theme once again. Chief Force Jonathan Ansell, good morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you, we've talked about the tour which you just finished recording yeah. the album. You're also doing a couple of charity gigs, aren't you? Yeah, so I've uh, uh, been an ambassador for Breast Cancer Care for a long time and they do an incredible um, evening called The Show. I'm doing that in London for them in November and it's a really special occasion for uh, people suffering and, uh, and, and recovering from breast cancer. And, uh, and they're the models. And, uh, and they strut their stuff and they do their thing and they have an amazing time up there and everybody goes wild, cries, just, oh, oh my God, it's an incredible, it's incredible event. I'm really looking forward to doing do that. You know, are, you, are you doing that on your own or with the rest That's of the That's just, uh, just myself. Unfortunately, G4 weren't all available this time round, uh, doing various things independently, along with uh, since we reformed as a group, doing our shows and recording from Saturday, we start recording our new album as well. So it's okay. very exciting. Nice bit of short. Thank you very much. Very nice. It's only very just nice. still mine because one of the members of the audience here tonight, uh, this morning, morning sorry, yeah. what day is it? Uh, she, uh, she's won this on an auction bid, it's crowdfunded, our new album, and I've already pre-signed it for Christine, and it's going to be hers at the end of the show. How fantastic! <laughs> How fantastic! <laughs> Unless I put in a higher offer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet our special guest this morning. It's been too long. Hayley Tamerden, welcome back, young lady. Nice to see you. 
Now, of course, uh, Hayley has starred in not one but two of our biggest soaps, Emmerdale, where she played a feisty Delilah Dingle, and more recently as uh, the Ladette student Andrew in Coronation Street. Away from the small screen, Hayley's a sort of semi-permanent fixture on the stage, starring everything from Spamalot to the Rocky Horror Show, and now, and you can probably tell from the hair, is Roxy Hart in the touring <laughs> version of Chicago, which has a, a stellar cast, uh, aside from yourself. Who Thank else you. is in it? Yeah, we've got John Partridge Tridge, in it yeah. and Jesse Wallace playing Mama Morton. Um, the entire cast are phenomenal. I'm very lucky. Very so, lucky. so two EastEnders. Yeah. You've yet to get there, haven't you? You've got I, all, I all, know. Yeah. I'd be a triple threat if I did all three. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this the first time you've done Chicago? Yes, I've been waiting 20 years to do this. Show.